Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, today's Reading the Red this Monday morning on our approach to Christmas. And the weather's warmed up, which is nice, but it's raining again, pouring down. And uh, we need a new beginning, a new day. So Matthew, uh, the last verse here in this revelation Jesus brings to the disciples, Matthew uh, 15, 20. These are the things which defile the man, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile the man. So Jesus said that it's the things that come out of the mouth that reveal what's in the heart, the things that we do that are bad, like murder and all the stuff he said. These are the things that defile by what we say and by what we do because it reveals what's in this heart and what gets into our heart is an intriguing factor to consider why do we let things that are foolish get into our hearts fear formed ideas and attitudes truth that we've taken on board that is not really truth at all religious error so often people have been controlled by religious error. And this is what this is. They said, unless you wash with your hands in, in this particular way before you do this and that, then God is not interested in you coming to him. And that was just not true. I recently saw something on TV where a baby had been born and was about to die. And so they rushed to get the priest to bless the the baby before the baby died. It didn't die. But the baby needed to be blessed according to the heart of the mother and the father because God would somehow send this baby, as it were, to an unconsecrated process either in the ground because it couldn't get into a churchyard or because God wouldn't let it into heaven because it wasn't blessed with a drop of water. What foolishness is that? And these fear-formed religious perspectives that we've given ourselves, that you mustn't do this and you mustn't do that, because if you do, then God will say this and God will say that and God will do this and God will do... Listen, God has made it very clear what God is about in his word. And in the Old Testament, he made available to the Jewish nation a means by which they could stay close to him. And they were the rules and the regulations and the representations of the law written in Leviticus. But that factor as it relates to those details in terms of staying connected and getting connected have been superseded by the grace of God given to us in Jesus. In Jesus, God has invited us to gain access to him. And so many of those rules and regulations that did apply then don't apply now because in Jesus, they are fulfilled. And we can have everything that God has given to his people in Jesus. So these foolish Fear-formed perspectives. Jesus is saying, what defiles the man is what comes out of his mouth and what's in his heart. And even that, God is wanting to take us on a journey to bring about a resolve so that those things aren't there anymore. Brothers and sisters, as we approach Christmas, we have an opportunity to be able to reconsider again the birth of the Christ who is God in a way that God intended for him to be received when the angels cried peace and goodwill to all men. Have a great approach to Christmas and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.